to follow this tutorial, you will need a cardboard box or five pieces of thick cardboard, two long cardboard rolls, masking tape, string, a craft knife, glue, scissors, coloured card and straws. Cut your cardboard so that you make two side wall pieces at 25 centimetres high by 28 centimetres wide. Two main wall pieces at 25 centimetres high by 32 centimetres wide and one base piece that is 32 centimetres by 28 centimetres. If you are using a cardboard box, cut the four flaps away from the top of the box. This cut edge will be the top of your castle. Take the two side and two main pieces and cut away a series of small squares from along the top edge of each piece to make battlements. Take the front piece of your castle and cut out a door shape from the front. Keep the door to one side, as you'll need this later. Sticking with the front piece, cut two windows either side of the door. It's easiest to do this with a craft knife, but you can do it with a sharp pair of scissors too. Just be careful. Use masking tape to stick the bottom of each wall to the edges of your base piece of cardboard. Now raise the walls upwards and stick more lengths of masking tape along the inside of each join where two walls come together. You now have a castle shape. If you need to reinforce the corners, you can add a small piece of masking tape to the outer side of the corners too as this will be covered up in later steps. Now take your door piece that you kept from earlier. Using a pencil, poke two holes either side of the door near to the top of the door. Then poke two more holes in the front of the door roughly a few centimetres lower than your previous holes. Take a piece of string and tie several knots in one end. Thread this through one of the door holes, so the knot is on the front of the door with the string poking through to behind the door. Repeat with another piece of string and the other hole in the door. Take the two pieces of string and thread them into the holes in the front of the castle either side of the door. Leave enough string so that the door can hang flat in front of the castle. Tie three knots in the loose end of the string on the inside of the castle to secure it behind the hole. Trim away any loose ends inside the castle. Lie the door front facing downwards in front of the castle so that its bottom edges line up with the door aperture. Use masking tape to tape along this join and make a hinge. To make the turrets, you'll need some tubes of cardboard. We've used two one metre long wrapping paper tubes. Cut the tubes in half so you have four tubes. Place each tube standing upwards next to the castle edge and make a small mark with your craft knife where the top of the castle wall falls. Ideally, you want the tube to be about 5 centimetres or higher than this mark. Cut a long thin slit all down the front of the tube. This slit goes from the bottom edge upwards and ends at the mark you just made. Try to make the slit about 2 millimetres wide. Rotate the tube by 90 degrees and cut a second slit, 
again on the front of the tube. Your first slit should now be on the side of the tube. This slit must be the same size and shape as the first. Then repeat with the other three tubes. Cut a series of small square shaped notches away from the top of each tube. This will give the effect of battlements. Then slot the tubes onto each corner of the castle, slipping the slits over the castle walls. If you need to, you can add a little masking tape on the inside to secure the turrets in place. Cut a simple flag shape from a brightly coloured scrap of card or paper. Stick a straw to the back of the flag with PVA glue and repeat to make a second flag. Stick the flags to the inside of the front two turrets using masking tape. And that's how to make a cardboard castle.